I'm 21 years old, and I would be a junior if I were going to college, but I don't. I decided three years ago that it wasn't right for me, that it wasn't a good use of my time and energy, and this isn't just a gap year sort of situation. I have no interest in going, period. Now, I come from a family where both of my parents were the first ones in their families to go to college. So is it arrogant for me to make this decision to not go to college? Well, I don't think so, and I'd like to share why I think that. First of all, I'd just like to say that if you are going to college and you're really enjoying it and it's right, it feels right for you, or you're trying to be like a doctor or a lawyer or something, then this isn't for you. I, college is right for some people, but, but I think that if you're looking at college as an investment in your education, in your future, I think there are better alternatives. My first reason for deciding not to go to college is the internet. If you have a device that can connect to the internet, then you essentially have access to all of human knowledge. That's the amazing power of the internet. It has democratized information. So the question then becomes, how self-disciplined are you? How much energy and effort are you willing to put into diving deep into a topic? There are articles and forums and videos on pretty much anything out there. And that's how I learned how to shoot and edit video. Uh, and that ended up leading to work as a videographer and as an editor. I finished my high school diploma at the local college, so I did take a few college classes. And I can't tell you how many times I took a class where the teacher essentially just gave us the information that was in the textbook that we had to buy to take the class and nothing else. And that is a textbook that you could buy on your own and absorb on your own. You could learn those things by yourself. I'm not saying all teachers are like that and I'm not saying all classes are like that, but I think it illustrates the point that with enough effort and like self ownership, a little bit of responsibility, you can, you can learn anything. Friends of mine that are going to college have told me that they are often forced to take and pay for classes that they're not interested in or are completely unrelated to what they're there for in the first place. Not only is that a waste of your time and energy, but it's not really a recipe for success. We live in a specialized world. It's way more valuable to be really good at one thing than kind of good at a bunch of things. All right, so the second reason for why not going to college made a lot of sense to me, honestly, is the fact that the stakes are a lot lower. I can fail in all kinds of different stuff and not suffer anywhere near the consequences. The average student after four years of schooling in the US has over $30,000 in student debt. Basically what that means is that as long as I'm able to keep a net worth of zero, so not even make any money, but as long as I can stay away from losing any money and getting into debt, I am way ahead of the curve. And not having debt offers me something else. It offers me peace of mind. Uh, I can make all kinds of mistakes and be, you know, a young adult trying to figure things out in life without suffering from my mistakes, you know what I mean? Without feeling like I'm digging myself into a hole that I cannot get out of. I could afford to leap into freelancing as a filmmaker because I wasn't straddled with debt. And that gave me the time to get things going and improve and get better. The argument against that is that, yes, but a degree is worth something, which maybe, I mean, I, yeah, it's worth something, but I don't think it's worth what you're paying for in most cases. Okay, so let's create a scenario here where you're paying $20,000 a year to go to school for four years. We're not even gonna consider going out of state or going to a high-end university because that would cost a lot more, like 40 or even $60,000 per year. Think about how much you can do, how much you can accomplish in a year as a young, healthy adult with $20,000 and a little bit of discipline. Instead of studying Spanish in college, for example, you could very easily go live in Ecuador or Argentina or Spain, learn the language much more intimately, have an incredible cultural experience, and spend less money. It would be less expensive. That's what I did. I didn't need four years. I went to live in Argentina for four months, and in that time, not only was I able to learn a ton about the language and get much better at it, but I learned a lot about myself, and it was an amazing experience overall in terms of growth and in terms of exposure to new things. And that whole experience cost me around $5,000. So way, way less than the 80 grand that it would cost you to do four years of schooling to get a Spanish degree in college. Instead of studying business for four years, you could start your own company with $20,000 
four times and have the luxury to fail three of those times. And again, this is my opinion, but if you don't know what you wanna do, which is most people, most people do not know what they wanna do, I think it's better to experiment and try things out for as little money as possible than to be doing it and spending all kinds of money that you don't necessarily have and putting yourself in a vulnerable position. For a while, I thought that I wanted to be a sound guy and you know, be like the guy that holds the boom on set. And uh, it turns out I don't. <laughs> and that didn't cost me anything to find out. All I needed to do was try it a couple of times and see if I liked it. And you know what else I found out? And this was life changing. You can get paid to learn. I was a PA for a long time, so a production assistant on film sets. So I would help out in any way that I could. Oftentimes it was kind of lame, right? So I was going and getting people coffee. I was running to Target to pick up props, but it was an incredible opportunity and experience to learn and observe from other people around me and figure out if I liked working on commercials or if I liked working on movies and to ask questions and get paid all the while doing that. Once you realize that that's a possibility, why would you do it any other way? There's another advantage, career momentum. If you're lucky enough to graduate from college and go straight into a fulfilling job, I commend you, but that's not usually how it works. Just because you have a title doesn't mean the world owes you anything. And I found, especially as a freelancer in particular, but I think this applies to anybody, that it takes time, it takes hustling and patience to get things off the ground. And so in this sense, the fact that I gave myself the time to pick things up and figure out what I'm good at and figure out how I like to work, I feel like I got this big head start because all the while, all of my friends are going to school, I'm doing what they're going to be doing once they graduate. The argument that college is great for meeting people and networking is a valid one. I'm not even gonna disagree with that, but it's not like it suddenly becomes impossible to do that once you're out of college. I found that going to events, inviting people to coffee or lunch, or interning at different companies has been a fantastic way for me to expand my network and to find new work opportunities. And ultimately I found that through research, it didn't feel like college really prepares you for the rest of real life. My goal in creating this was not at all to make anybody regret their decisions or to shame anybody. It's just to share my point of view, my way of seeing things. And that's the whole point of college, right? Intellectual diversity. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. A lot more videos coming soon. I talk a lot about mental clarity and stuff like digital minimalism, and I'm excited to share that with the world. So if that interests you, stick around. And finally, if you believe in my message and wanna support this channel and help me create more videos, consider checking out my Patreon. There's a link to it down below. I've started to add exclusive content, bonus episodes, behind the scenes, that sort of thing. So check it out. All right, see you guys.